and you don't want your car towed, so pay attention to uh, yeah. to the new the new rules there. Thanks so much, Ellen. In today's Road to a Better Community, we head out to Loudoun County and meet a group of people working to help in poverty and homelessness in the county. Hard times can strike in the most unlikely of places, even in one of the richest counties in the United States. Our Andy Hauser toured Mobile Hope of Loudoun, which is tackling this issue head on. Inside a small office in Leesburg, big things are happening. The nonprofit Mobile Hope was started eight years ago by Donna Fortier. Its mission, to help homeless youth across Loudoun County. We do everything in our power to work to ensure that they get what they need so that they can become self-sufficient. From basic needs like donating food, clothing, books, baby goods for new struggling moms, to assisting with housing, even job applications, Mobile Hope tackles all these issues in a county where you least expect it. Being one of the wealthiest counties in the country, no one wants to believe that we have homeless youth. Just like no one wants to believe any county has gangs and drugs and abuse, but we do. And there are multiple cases. Some are aging out of foster care, some are aging out of the youth shelter, others are getting kicked out simply because they turn 18. Some are getting kicked out of their homes because they got a C on a report card. Um, a lot of it is um, a difference of opinion in the household. Some of these kids couch surf while others have no place to go. Mobile Hope steps up and welcomes them into a non-judgmental environment. I was kind of somewhat riding my ego of not wanting to accept help from other people. For Mo, Mobile Hope helped him get on the right path as he was adjusting to a new country, facing a new language, bullying, and the pressures of supporting his family. It has this way of making me feel like home. Like, you know, if you need anything, just give him a call. Even at like at two o'clock in the morning, if you need anything, they'll come and help you out. I would be in jail if I, was, if, I, if I wasn't here. For DeAndre, he couldn't stay out of trouble. That was until he came to Mobile Hope. He calls it a saving grace. This place is just like a really big second chance, you know what I'm saying? They definitely want you to succeed. They definitely want you to, you know, be the best person you can be no matter what your past has been. And his transformation is proof. I'm going to be, I'm going to Nova. They helped me get back to fourth for Nova and Sterling. Computer science, got a job. I'm about to get my license. He's also a mentor and a volunteer at Mobile Hope. His court-appointed service hours have become obsolete to him. Instead of just being here because I have to be here, I never, I stopped like signing in, like calculating my hours and just did it because I want to be here. The nonprofit wouldn't be successful without its volunteers. From youth groups to folks who are success stories from the program, Mobile Hope lives and breathes by them. It's the exciting part for me. Like Christopher here, he utilized the program and helps run the thrift store. I volunteer Monday through Friday where I could be working, but I'd rather, you know, help out here knowing that I can make somebody's life different. As you can see, there are many operations within these walls and outside too. The Mobile Hope van distributes good to those in need every Wednesday and Thursday to eight different spots in the county. So we do everything we do here, but on a much reduced scale. So you just kind of loaded up the bus with some things, like you know those, you know, like clothing items or the food or whatever. It's going to go out to someone who needs it, and that'll help them. Like you know, even if you never actually meet them or see what the results are. Like, you know it's making an impact. An impact on everyone involved with Mobile Hope. I look at things more positively in life to know that I have people that actually care for me. Family. I mean, like, you know, I could literally consider Donna as my, my second mother. To be able to experience it myself at one point and to help others is amazing. Spreading hope to those who may have none. Oh, I love that. Thank you Just so warms much, my Amy. Heart. I know. Joining us now is Donna Fortier, the second mom of Bubble <laughs> Hope of Loudon and Joel Basson from Eastern's Automotive Group. Welcome. Thanks, Welcome. Thanks for us. This is such a touching story. And Joel, you have a special surprise yes, for Donna do. here today. Tell us about this. Come on in, uh, Ashley. Yeah, we wanted to uh, be, like, kick off our, uh, what I think is going to be a great partnership with a little $2,000 donation to your guys' cause to help you guys raise money. I know you guys are always looking for funds. Yes, but I think additionally we it. learned that Thank we're also in do. Loudoun County. <laughs> I love our, it. Our corporate facilities in Loudoun County, so I think it's the start of a great partnership with internships and other things like that. Donna, what does this mean to you and Mobile Hope of Loudoun? A lot. Um, I mean, as you can see from that video, there's a lot of kids who come through our door every day. 
So this will help get, and go a long way in emergency housing with Loudoun being considered one of the wealthiest counties in the country. Um, it's really a lot of kids that struggle. What was it like for you to watch that and, and see those that have come through Mobile Hope that are now giving back and helping out? Well, that's why my voice is all quivery. I'm almost <laughs> going to cry. I hadn't seen that. So that's very sweet and touching. And um, I mean, we are one big dysfunctional family there, so it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great. Thank you. I always think of, you know, Fairfax and Loudoun as, as oh, these, these, are, these are the strong, shining examples of, of good communities in our country. But in all good, there are people who need a hand up, Joel. And like you said, you, you're in Loudoun with yeah. your business. Yeah. So, so was this an eye opening for you learning Absolutely. about mobile? Yeah. Home? I mean, it's, it's one of those things, like you said, you just don't think about it as, and we've been in that, in that corporate facility for almost five years now and love being a part of that community, but this is another thing that they need help and we're, we're willing to help. Yeah, if we don't bring light to it, right. it can be an invisible need. Absolutely. And you yeah. never know what anybody's going through. So Donna, thank you to thank you, you and Mobile much. Hope of Loudoun for everything that you do. And of course, thank Joel you. and yeah. Eastern's Automotive. What an incredible moment. Thank you for sharing your thank story you. with us. If you want to learn more about how Eastern's Automotive Group helps organizations like Mobile Hope for Loudoun on a road to better community, Go to WUSA9.com slash better community. We'll be right back with more Great Day Washington after this.